good day, YouTube, and welcome to another episode of the Albino Rhino Beer Review. You have the Rhino, and we're looking at a beer from Heritage Hops. And every time I say Heritage Hops, I want to say Herald House, because Heritage Hops Brewing Co., well, Brew Co. was Herald House originally. Uh, same brewmaster still as Herald House had. I don't think I've ever had a Herald House beer. So, yeah, we have it right over here. This was sent by their by their sales rep, so thank you very much. Nicole, thank you. Uh, again, like the last one, the can has seen better days. These cans did have some movement, though, so makes sense. Uh, this is Abandoned at the Altar Raspberry Sour, and I'm really, really, really excited for this one. Uh, ingredients, water, hops, yeast, barley malt, wheat malt, raspberry puree. Contains barley and wheat. Abandoned at the altar, raspberry sour, light body, and assertive tartness. United with a modest dose of fresh raspberries. Okay, what's the ABV on this? Um, keep cold, 5.3% uh, alcohol. I do not drink my beer cold. I drink my beer room temperature. This has made it up to the Arctic. It was on a plane and everything else and um it's the same day it got here so we're we're okay um stratford ontario and it only took 11 days to get here which is pretty good for something coming up here i mean i've waited over a month for packages before uh coming from closer to here than than stratford oh my god okay so as most of you know i get really really excited when there's the proper color in a beer and wow, my daughter's having a shit fit out there. Luckily, my eldest daughter and my wife are out there. The problem is we're in a prefabricated home, so these wa walls are like paper. And you can hear everything. 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 Yeah. So here we are. Beautiful, beautiful red color. I love that color. That is amazing. It's hazy crazy. It's a beautiful red. I love girls with hair that color. Oh my god, I love girls with hair that color. Oh my god. Oh! Only they had Santa fetishes. Uh, sent out of the can. Oh! Oh god. Okay, John Zippel. If this tastes the way it smells, I'm in love with you right now. Well, right now I'm in love with you. Once I take a sip, we'll know if I'm still in love with you or not. But um, this reminds me a lot of, like, uh, by the nose, it reminds me a lot of either um, Totally from Half Hours on Earth, just off the nose, Totally from Half Hours on Earth, or, like, uh, the original Raspberry Uber from, uh, from Nickelbrook. Super, super, super raspberry scented. Both sweet and tart, both ripe and overripe. Like a raspberry jam and like a, and like a, a very tart, over-ripened raspberry bowl at the same time. Oh my god, that smells good. Okay, so, uh, Heritage Hops. Abandoned at the altar. Out of the glass. Oh, the raspberries still just pop out of that, but they're more sweet out of the glass where you're getting the sweet and the sour out of the can. Oh, yeah. Okay, so Totally is one of my favorite beers ever. And the Raspberry Uber is a beer I really, really enjoy as well. So I'm very, 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 very excited for this. Cheers, boys and squirrels. That is good. That is fucking good. Okay, so... Totally was a little bit less alcohol percentage, as was the Raspberry Uber. Both of them had a little bit more body than this. Uh, this has a flavor on par, if not better, than those. Uh, it is, It does have a sourness to it, but it, it's, it's overpowered by a tartness, because there is that sweetness in there and everything else. It's sweet, it's sour, it's raspberry all the way through. Raspberry up at the forefront, raspberry all the way at the back end. It's like taking a handful of fresh raspberries... And not going through them, just taking a handful. So you have some fresh you, that are perfect. You have some ones that are over-ripened and squishy and everything else. And you just threw them all in your mouth. And some that aren't even ripe yet. And you just threw them all in your mouth and you started chewing. You get you get the... 
and you get the bitterness from the you get the bitterness from like the the black little seeds that are all in it you get the sweetness you get everything else and oh my god one second so so much raspberry flavor that it's not even funny and i just i just hit record again and she started again but yeah it's like it's like you had a handful of raspberries and you took a really good artisanal raspberry jam and put that on top of the raspberries and took them all and just threw them in your mouth. And like I said, you get you get that bitterness you, and bitterness and sourness and tartness from the from like the little seeds of the raspberry. You get the sweetness from the actual raspberry. You get the sourness from the actual raspberry. It, 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 it this is this is really 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 good. This is really good. This is oh, I'm in the Arctic, in my furnace room, in a kilt because I'm an idiot. And this thing here is open right now because the furnace was on. And this thing is a pipe that goes right to the outside and just lets all the cold air in. This thing goes right outside and lets all the cold air in. So my balls are probably in my throat right now. And all I can think about is how good this fucking beer is. That's how good your beer is, John. I have frozen my nuts off in a kilt in the utility room of my house in the Arctic. And I can't stop fucking talking about how good this beer is. This is, this is a great fucking beer. And the worst thing is, I can't get any more of it. That can is all I have. That is 10 out of 10. That's just raspberries. It's just raspberries. It's raspberries. Oh my God. Thank you, Nicole. Bye. Oh God, I gotta go drink the rest of that.